So here we are at the beaver dam. It's flooding out everything. We're gonna knock it all out. Or, well, blow it up so that it'll drop the water level a bit. It goes, I don't know, two, three hundred yards back there, probably. There's two of them we're gonna shoot. Knock it out with some tannerite type material. Got invited to come and help with a friend. And, uh, right, where is he? There, that's what we'll be shooting at. So we'll see what it looks like. Oh, it plays out. I'm just trying to figure out where the where the uh, thing is. Right there. Should take a before and after photo. How high the water is. Not quite, let me get zoomed in a little bit so I know where I'm looking at. Should be right underneath that cloud. I'm ready. I like that noise. <laughs> oh yeah. That's for sure. Huh. Yep, have a little look and see. It's funny, yeah, you just watch the the water just from that shock wave. How many pounds is that? Nine. Nine pounds of joy and noise. Well, cut a bit of a hole. Oh. So we shot from uh, just over there, right at the spruce tree. The, the charge was placed about right there. That's good. So we've got, got one more to shoot. That one we're gonna shoot from the dirt side, so we'll see how it goes. Looks fun. Okay, here's number two. And there is a hole in the woods. Where are we at? Little crooked stick right in front and center. White fence post on. Beaver dam with the willows in the back. Oh, it's hard to see on the zoomed up thing. I think we're looking at about the center right there. I'm videoing. At least I sure hope I am. Like, 
there's a big bang, but not tons of water coming yet. Hmm. See the smoke? Okay, so here's the other dam. We just tried one and the charge was set right in there. For some reason didn't knock anything out. Same size as the other one. So we're gonna dig a hole in there, set it in so that the energy has to go both ways. Hopefully it'll knock it out and then the water will wash and flush and then flood her out that way. So they're mixing up another can full of stuff. It's strange that it didn't work because the other one sure did. This isn't nearly as big a dam as the other one, but get the water knocked down anyway. Okay, so here's our charge. It's a four inch piece of ABS with nine pounds of tannerite in it. And well, this time we're gonna set her down in here. Ooh, I better dig out the hole a little bit so we can see it a little bit more. So that's where it is. And it'll shoot it from behind me and hopefully knock both energy both ways and knock the water out. Okay, there it is buried. Let's see what it does. It's shooting back there. And I can't see much. That's where we're shooting from. Really difficult to see what you're looking at through the zoomed in. I think so. Yeah, go ahead. That's ridiculous. Wonder if I move the camera. up and have a peek and see. So here comes the water. Start to flow a little bit. So it'll change. I think it worked okay. Okay, here we are back at the other one after shooting those two. Got some water flowing for sure. I would think this dam has dropped 14, 16 inches. A lot of water backed up there. It'll drop some more. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. 
If you didn't, oh, there's a swan. I won't see it probably. If you didn't enjoy it, at least I hope you enjoyed your rage and hatred towards me for destroying natural habitat or participating in such misery and evils. Anyway, have a great day either way. Well, hello. This is the big dam. A lot of water gone. Looks like a battlefield and you can see these ditches and trenches these beavers make. A lot of water gone. So obviously the beavers weren't here because they didn't dam it up. They must have been cleaned out here last winter. A otter must have ate them or something. Because there's nothing here. I'll take a picture from the dam over there. But the mud's dry and uh, all there is for tracks is birds and actually some wolf tracks. I haven't seen anything else. Well, hello everybody. Just a little bit on the end here. So this is the beaver dam we've knocked out. The beavers are gone. I think there, there was no sign of them ever damming them up again. So I think that they were missing because uh, an otter came and had a snack. But this is what the place looks like now. The water's probably dropped four feet, five feet maybe. But the dam ain't there, or I mean the water ain't there anymore. Now there's, looks a little more normal. So that's it.